back and forth and back and forth. Jake is so intense. I started laughing. That's when I said, this is so stupid, but he looked great. Oh, you're doing it wrong. Over here, come here. Get those helicopters out of the sky. Like, he trying to be cool, but <laughs> he's, I know who you are. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jake Gyllenhaal, and welcome to Entertainment Weekly's Around the Table with Michael Bay, Isa Gonzalez, and Yahya Abdul Mateen II. That's my brother, Will. I could use some help. My wife needs this surgery. This is real life. How's that right? You put your life down on the line for this country? You leave your family, your home? How much do you need? 231. How about more? When I called Donna Langley, okay. uh, who's the president of uh, Universal Films, I said, I've done enough action what I'm interested in, in ambulance and doing is the study of tension. Um, like Das Boat uh, in the sub, it's uh, the experience where it's so intimate. You keep going outside of the big world, but they're all in an ambulance, and there's a lot of emotions going on. And I wanted to put the audience in the center of what would it feel like, the immediacy in a crime that has gone so bad, and it just keeps going. And you're, it almost feels like real time. So that's what I was trying to do. It's time for you to do something for your family. What can I do you for, officer? We're just doing a transfer in the back. I'll let uh, you in in 20 minutes. Uh, if I could just get it done real quick, because I'm on the clock, promise not to rob the place. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, because that would be bad for my job. <laughs> I promise. All right, okay. All right, all okay. right. Come all on. Right. <laughs> okay. And he said, we're going to drive under a bridge. I said, well, what are we shooting? He there said, no just right drive under the bridge. And then uh, we were under a bridge, and he said, okay, listen, here's, here's your rifle. There are going to be two helicopters that are going to come fly under the bridge. And I, I want you to shoot at them. And they're going, and to, be, they're going to be 20 feet you're from you. But I did say yeah. they are the best helicopter pilots in the world. All right. It's going to be, be very scary. You're safe. Don't worry. Yes. Yeah, you said all those things. Yes. Yeah, you said all those things. And then you and say those action. Things, those things are actually true. True. And then uh, two helicopters came out of, out of nowhere and flew under a bridge. And then we hopped into an ambulance and drove. for the rest of the day drove <laughs> as they chased us. Mm -hmm. Through water and, and, and... Through water. Had you ever done that before? Hell no. <laughs> in the, what, in the like canal. That. What did you say to me on the walkie when I'm on the Porsche Cayenne chasing I'll you? Camera's right there and you got on the walkie. I probably said like, this is like the coolest no, you said life. this is the craziest. The shit. craziest. The craziest. The craziest. Because there were two helicopters. Yeah. Can you say that? No. <laughs> beep, yeah. You need to beep it. Yeah. Okay. okay. But you, they I, were right I did, behind I did, you. I did. I did. I got on. I got on the walkie. I, I said, "This is the craziest thing I, I've ever done." You said shit. I, I did. I did. I said that. I said that. You know, <laughs> because it was. And I think I even I called my best friend in the middle of the shot, and I FaceTimed and just set the camera right there. Well, you were driving. <laughs> you yes, did not. I no did. way. That is very unsafe. That's amazing. You would never text and drive. But I had to. He I, wasn't. I just, he just sat it on the side. I just had to because when am I ever going to get a chance to do something like that again? But how much Ellie River? water did we drink that day? Yummy. Enough is really the question. Enough. <laughs> Lovely E. coli for the afternoon. Get everybody home. First of all, I'm incredibly grateful to Michael for trusting me in this role. I, you know, it, I'm sure it was quite challenging to decide what to choose and who to choose in this situation. No, you're my first choice, by the way. But keep Aww. going. I didn't tell you because I wanted to keep your fee low. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. <laughs> no one else was available. It's just me. I was sitting in LA waiting for it. Thank you. I was just so grateful that I got to do this role. But I, I definitely felt, you know, it's really fun when you're an actress and quite often you open a script, especially in action movies, and there's no shade to men or whatever. But, you know, as an actress, you sort of start getting accustomed to waiting for that moment that you fall in love with a guy and you're just sort of like, oh, it's gonna happen. And mm -hmm. oh, or the woman that tags along with them for the ride because he's the hero and you're sort of following him around and then you fall in love with him. And that's sort of the, the body of work that happens quite a lot in specific action films, unless you're the leading character. And I found it quite compelling when I started reading and reading and reading and it was just this woman with agency and com complete conviction of who she was and stood up for what she believed and also had heart and was vulnerable and it was just so multifaceted and very dynamic and also quite a hero in the sense of sacrificing her entire life. And then obviously in the world that we live in right now, I just was very honored and very inspired and it made me grow as an actress. It really did. I got to give it to my castmates and my director. You know, we really 
level up when you're working with people like that. They come, they have fun, they improvise, they're talented, they bring something interesting to the table. It could have been easily a boring action film and the performances, Michael really pushing me to go in a different direction and really push myself, it really brings uh, this movie in a totality and you don't get a performance like mine without a cast like this and without a director like that. So I'm just so grateful for them. I mean, I'm very proud. Um. Is, uh, I couldn't get her name right for the first, what, two weeks, three weeks, right? I think for the entire movie, you couldn't say. Until last week, you couldn't say my name right. He said Aza. He said it right. Aza. Aza. Seriously, um, I remember, I think it was our third day, and we're shooting very fast, and at one point... We got in a fight. Well, so she goes, you're picking on me. I'm not picking on you. I said, this camera lens can, is not, doesn't work like our eye. You have to slow down when you go to a longer lens. She goes, you're picking on me. And I'm like, I, I did I, not say that. I said, you're coming for me. Stop it! And I screamed in your face. I yeah, and I, but but, but the act, uh, actors sometimes get intense, and I was very calm. And I said, I said, you don't have to listen to me. I'm just giving you technical thing. But I, but then I said, I'm going to make you better than you've ever been. Who did say that? Right. I don't know if it happened, but it did. It did. It did. It did. I'm she, she was game after that. It was like it was. Uh, um, I saw her in this art, small art film, and um, and I just saw her potential. I just. Uh, you know, we were just in Paris, and they said they've made a new discovery in you. Aww. I got a cop shot. I got to get him to the hospital. I'm going to need you to help us. Why don't you help us? We're doing hostages now. We're not crashing into this ambulance. We got a brother cop on board. Do you have EMT experience? Combat three eyes. You're a soldier? Yeah. We are trying to save you. One, two, three. The character I play and a lot of characters that I played have been pretty majorly influenced by the filmmakers that I work with and their energy and I, it's infectious and I joke about you and like your energy and you but I wanted to do this film because I've heard so much about you and your process <laughs> right, right, right. and I was like what's this gonna be like right, right. and so and and a lot of Danny and a lot of his energy watching you kind of really choreograph you know, over here, do that, go over there. That, no, 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 you're doing it wrong. Over here, come here. Get those helicopters out of the sky. I think that's in the trailer. He just did that probably in like a moment before on set, you know? There's a little bit of Michael, <coughs> Danny and Michael share some of the same energy. energy. But I, I mean, it was, it allowed for some big stuff and some fun stuff and- We it, did laugh a lot. We, 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 we laughed we a did. lot shooting, I mean. Well, also we knew it was, I knew that Michael liked it when he would finish a take and he'd say, that's so stupid, <laughs> like that. That's so when stupid. I knew it was probably gonna find its way into the movie. So, so let, let me just set that up, okay? So I've got a little handheld camera. We're in an ambulance. So we're sitting this close to each other. There's a guy who came through the windshield like a deer. He's like, he just crashed through the windshield because Jake ran into him. And I said, Jake, drive around in circles. And I said, I want you to just punch the crap out of him. All right? <laughs> so we're driving in circles. And I'm going right here to Jake. And Jake just wails on the guy. And I go back and forth and back and forth. Jake is so intense. I started laughing. That's when I said, this is so stupid. But he looked great. It, looked it was great. so good. But <laughs> he looked, looked great. great. Yeah, yeah. The, thing that's, the thing that's funny, though, is you, you, you said, like, just say things to him. Just, just start talking to him. And then I was like, why are you in here? Get out of this car. Like, as I'm punching, it was just, there were moments like that that just were just outlandish. Wait, I have a question about that. Do you guys, the flamingo scene, do you make that whole thing up? <laughs> yeah, it was just, that was Did a you weird make it day. up? I saw it's the flamingos so in the car good. shop and I just brought them and I just thought this might be fun that we do a non sequitur to what's going on in his life. Because yeah. he still works for a boss, he thinks he's gonna get away. It's so good, <laughs> the flamingo scene. I'd never seen the scene, but Michael said to me, oh, in the scene on the other end of the line, there are these flamingos. <laughs> so I just started like saying things. For, for the, the boss's kid. kid <coughs> uh, the flamingo kills me. <laughs> the flamingo story that kills me. No, Daddy, relax. I gotta get back to my wife and my son. Does your wife know you're up, Banks? We're not the bad guys. We're just the guys trying to get home. We don't get to walk off into the sunset. Well! Danny, everybody knows how dangerous you are. Do you? You get your helos out of here now! The camera's going around on a round track, mm -hmm. and they're kind of dancing with the camera, and we're catching pieces of their dialogue. And you yeah. create this kind of tension, of the background swirling. Yeah, I remember that shot. Um, there, there's a swirling shot, yes. like right in the beginning of the movie. And uh, that was probably one of the most, we did a lot of technical things on it, right? But that's probably one of the most technical things that we had to do. And it, we had to figure out how to, you know, what the dance was. 
took to that shot. It took a little while. It took a little while. You guys got into it. You said you liked it. Yeah. The intensity. You kept rolling around each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that, you know, moving around and just sort of sizing each other up, getting close, backing up. But it's a weird thing as two actors because, you know, the thing that's really wonderful about you, and this is why it was so nice to work in the scenes with you, is that you don't have that thing of someone trying to hog the camera or do anything. We were both trying to help each other yeah, 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 find sure. the camera, yeah. which is a very, it was like, yeah. I was like, where is it? We yeah, were like, like, where is it? It's over here? Go <laughs> backwards. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah, in it yeah, now. Yeah, okay, yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah, stay yeah. line. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it was like. Here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, here it comes. Okay, okay, okay. That's you, that's you, that's you, that's you. Yeah. It was a funny dance. Sailing. What's the okay, story of sailing? The, I, like the, 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 there's, a, there's a scene where the movie, everything is going so wrong, they have to chill out, and Jake, when we talked about notes on the script and we were just getting to know each other over the phone, he said, I would just love for us to have a brotherly fight or sing a song that we did when we were kids. And I'm like, that's a dumb idea, but could be a great idea. Yeah. So I wrote it into the thing. Nothing like a dumb idea. And, no, but, but seriously, it, 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 it is such a, a, a bizarre relief in the movie. Yeah. Uh, and that was, the song was come up by Quite a needed. guy who, Sheldon Turner came up with that song. Yeah, and I did not know the, the lyrics at all. Do you know all. them now? Of course not. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Let's, I know, Let's go. I know. I know. Come I know. Guys. I know what they are. I, I, I won't. I won't sing them. We were like sailing, sailing. Take, take me, me away. away. Come on. To where yeah. I've always wanted he's to be. He's trying to be cool, but <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know he's. I know he's a real nerd. It's like crisscross. Like, he's trying to be cool, <laughs> but he's, I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't get fooled. Police are following these two suspects. Get chill out. Gotta chill out. Hit me up. What's going on in there? These guys are nut jobs. Right here it is. Sailing takes me away to where I always wanted to be. My whole career, I've always, I've always liked funny. I've always liked to improv with actors. It's always been a bizarre skill I have in making them feel comfortable and fast enough shooting where we can get funny. You know, mm. when I, I got, I learned my chops when working with Martin and Will, two amazing funny people. And I'm like, to Will, nah, that's not funny. That's not funny. You got to have that gumption to say that. And then there's times like that is funny. You know, and it's it just, I think audiences really appreciate when you're tense, there's a release of energy. I found that, that you know, Jake, for one, was a, a, he really, he comes in very sharply focused, consummate actor, and, uh, but he, he was very game for, for improv. Uh, I think all you guys were. Us, not so much. More Drake than us, for but, sure. But he, he, he had to be more, <laughs> no, no for seriously, sure. he, he had to kidding. have, he had to have His the character, one. yeah. His character. I couldn't yeah. improvise, I couldn't even, it was so hard you, of, you guys had more solid backstories. I, we I had to find yeah. mine on the way, so I was, I was improvising a good amount. No, but that was one of the... I'm no, just trying to remember all that medical jargon. I couldn't think of anything else. That's interesting. Oh, my God. I, I remember wanting to, like, wanting to have more yeah. of, of, of what Jake got to do in this, but at the same time, it, it was just, it wouldn't... It just didn't, What's it wouldn't have worked. When you knock the guy out, the same that's, way. that's all you. Yeah, when you knock the you guy, knock that guy out. When you oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That was like yeah, a bizarre thing. That was an opportunity, yeah. And my then my, DP, got my director of photography goes, yeah. Michael, he's, he's, he's Italian. He goes, Michael, I don't know, I, I don't know. I said, no, that's good. That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. it, that's good. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> it's good when you it's good when you have a sense as an actor like what your role is in the movie. I think that's yeah. so crucial. It's it, it's it really makes of a movie. Everyone if you want to do whatever the other person's doing and you know, oh that's really fun, then it takes away from their moment. It's really good to understand what balances out the performance and I think that we were very lucky that you know, the cast was really understanding of that because it's not always the case. There's always a place where someone wants to compete because the moment is really good and mm. and it worked really well, you know. I, I in, in history, the best movies, you see something like Goodfellas and you see Joe Pecci being hilarious and, and you, then you see the rest of the cast being more ground. It just gives it a different, better vibe and it really works. Hey, what's up, big guy? Just waking up? Just you wait and see. Does your wife know you're up, Biggs? I'm sorry, brother. I think it's the best of me. Sorry that I brought you into this. I just wanted things to be the way they used to be. We are trying to save you. I'm gonna get you back home, little brother. Well, one of my great skills as a director, I don't have many, but one of my great ones is sweet talking. 
uh, people and to getting I'm the only guy director in the world to have the space shuttle twice on the launch pad. Um, I think we're in this movie. You really sweet talk nah, to Nah, you're funny, funny. <laughs> <laughs> she's a, she's a smart. <laughs> um, um, first day, low budget movie. You have to shoot very fast. To shut a freeway down legally on a film uh, shoot would be about. 400,000 to 350,000, take about a month and a half, two months. You would have to bring in all fake cars, I mean, all extra cars. This first day of the shoot, we're just doing <laughs> inserts. We're doing small shoot, small shots of ambulance driving at speed on a freeway. I didn't know for safety they had to bring highway patrol. So we've got five shiny cars, highway patrol cars, and three motorcycle cops. And I'm like, hello. Hi. And policemen oh, yeah, around yeah. the world somehow love my movies. And I, I, like we were just in Paris and these guys with machine guns were posing me, the, the police guarding the, the, the president's house. I said, would you like to be in my movie? They go, yeah. <laughs> I said, what do you do on a real police chase? Well, we dog with the thing. We kind of do this. I said, I said, okay, let's start. So we start doing some runs. And then I'm like, hey, can you give me a rolling block, which means they block the freeway and all the cars stop. And we're on a live freeway. It's a little less crowded because it's pandemic. They let us go 90 miles an hour. Now that is all free stuff. Okay. Smart. That's sweet talking, free stuff. Okay. Good, Good job. Who tries this at home. <laughs> what? Yeah. Good luck to anyone. Only else who Michael. Tries this at home. Thank you so much for watching Entertainment Weekly around the table. We had so much fun. Make sure to not miss Ambulance April eighth. It's a big screen event.